Welcome to La Vida Rosa, I'm your host Pinky, and today I will be reviewing this fabulous wig. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and record this wig review because I haven't done one in a while, and I actually love doing wig reviews because I love wigs. They're my favorite type of protective style, I just love them, and I love the different looks you get with each wig. Also, I like to wear my wigs for a little while before I review them so I can give an accurate review. I want to tell you how good these wigs actually are or how bad they are. I haven't done a really bad wig review yet. I might have one coming soon though. Before I start, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So if you've been following me on Instagram, which if you're not, go ahead and do that now. I'll leave my Instagram name below. You will see that I've been wearing this fabulous wig. This wig is by Model Model and her name is Alpine Meadow. That sounds like something that would be on Little House on the Prairie or something like that. But anyway, I actually, it doesn't matter the name because it, it's fabulous, it's a great wig. Lately I've been ordering my wigs, but um, I bought this out of a hair supply store. This is how the picture looks. And for once the picture actually looks good because usually the picture looks terrible, but the wig looks way better. I like Model Model for wigs. They tend to have some nice quality wigs. Um, I've never really had a bad experience with Model Model. This is a lace front, but it is a deep invisible L part. So this front edge right here is lace front and you like cut the lace off. And then it only has one part on the side and it's an L part, which is a decent part. If you're gonna have a um, invisible part, you don't want it to be too wide or too skinny. It looks like it's naturally parted, which I love. The wave of the hair is Peruvian natural which I love this. It it doesn't matter which way you turn, which way the wind blows, it's gonna fall back into place. It's very soft and flexible, easy to maintain. You don't have to do much to it, but just throw it on, and maybe brush it. The color I have is OM430P. And so it's like a nice, you know, brown color towards the end. It's not too bright, but I wanted to get something a little bit lighter because I've been doing black and I feel like sometimes that really washes me out and um, so I wanted to try something different and I really like this color the color is very you know complimentary I feel you can apply heat to this up to 400 degrees which I doubt you will ever need to apply any heat there are two combs in the front on either side of the part see that's the L shaped part and then there's a comb in the very back just to get, hold everything in place. Then you have two straps here with hooks on them so they won't easily pop off like a lot of them do. The hair itself is a heat resistant fiber. Very, very nice if I do say so myself. And it sheds a little bit but all wigs shed a little bit so you can't expect a wig not to shed at all. It has like a realistic look. There's no fake shine. It doesn't look extra fake. It's a very reasonably priced wig. It's only $26.99 on wig types. I'll leave that link down below too. So it's approximately 22 inches. So it comes like a little bit, comes like here, like a little bit past my, my boobs. And then in the back, it comes like right above my, my bum. It's nice length. It doesn't get tangled really easily. If you're looking for like an instant sew-in, this is the wig for you. I've been wearing it um, for the past couple of weeks now and it still looks luscious. I haven't sprayed it, I haven't done anything, but brush it and wear it, like that's it. Like Once you take it out of the pack and you cut the lace, it's good to go. I have a few more wig reviews I'm gonna do too, so if you like wig reviews, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you go ahead and purchase this wig because it's popping. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I want to do a series of videos that break down the basics of makeup and it's going to be for beginners.